guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and talk about visual force. Now, what is this visual force? Visual force is the component-based user interface framework for the Force.com platform. Now, what do you mean by a component-based? Component-based means visual force consists of inbuilt components, or we can even say inbuilt tags. So if you are familiar with HTML, if you have created an HTML page, you know that in HTML you have different different kinds of tags. You have a body tag, you have a paragraph tag, then you have a header tag, etc. So these are the different kinds of tags that are available. Now similarly, in case of Visual Force also, you have inbuilt tags. And what are the different tags that are available? We will talk about those tags in the upcoming tutorials, but keep in mind that Visual Force framework includes a tag-based markup language, means it consists of inbuilt tags, just like HTML. Now when you should use Visual Force? Now when, when are you going to decide or when you should use Visual Force? Now let's say you wanted to override the standard Salesforce pages with the custom pages of your own. Let's say if you're not happy with the account page, uh, of the current account page that we have, and you wanted to override with your own custom page, then you can create that page using Visual Force, and then you can override your standard Salesforce page with Visual Force. So what do I mean by that is, for example, if I go back, I have two Salesforce developers account which is open here and there are two different accounts and here you can see the account page looks little different if I go ahead and click on this particular account it looks like this where overview is the first tab then I have the contacts tab and then I have the open opportunities tags here okay so these are the three different tabs that are available for this account similarly if I go ahead and go to this whole different Salesforce dev account here you can see the view of the account is different. So this is the standard view of an account page. So this is how the account page will look like. So let me go back and open the same account here as well. So you can see the difference in the look and feel. So this is the Burlington Textile, so the same account. Now here you can see this is the standard Salesforce page. This is the standard Salesforce detail page where you have to scroll down if you wanted to see what contracts are related to, what are the different contacts, opportunities associated with this account, cases associated with this account, and so on. So you have to scroll down. On the other hand, what I've done is on this particular view here, or everything is in a form of a tag. So if I wanted to look for the contacts, all I have to do is contact on the contacts page. If I wanted to look for the opportunities related to the account, I have to click on this tag. So this is the custom Visual Force page, which basically what I've done is I have overrided the standard Salesforce account page with my own custom account page. So that's why you see it here is a different look and feel from the standard Salesforce page. So this is one of the advantage of Visual Force, like you can override the standard Salesforce pages with the Visual Force page. You can create your own custom flow control through an application, you can have your own flow, and also you can define the navigation patterns and the data specific rules for efficient application interaction. So just like in this example, you, with the help of this visual force, what you have done is you have specified the navigation. So in kind of a form of a tab, so whichever tab you're in was interested in, the user will click on that corresponding tab. So what is Visual Force? Visual Force is a tag-based markup language, which basically gives developer a powerful way of building applications. So this is a tag-based markup language, and it also gives Salesforce developer a powerful way of building the application and also customizing the Salesforce user interface. So how do we customize it and what are the different tags that are available? We are going to go through each of those tags in the upcoming tutorials. So this is just to give you a quick overview of what is a visual force or what is visual force and when you should use visual force.